Hello, welcome back to another video tutorial on buffer solutions. We're now trying to solve another problem on buffer solutions, which is actually related to the previous videos that I have made on a certain buffer made by mixing 10.0 grams of pyridine with 15 grams of its conjugate acid in one liter of the solution. So in this third question, we are asked what will happen to the pH if 20 ml of a 2.00 molar hydrochloric acid is added to 1 liter of the bu buffer solution. Now in this example, we will try to solve this problem by using the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation which we have introduced in the previous video tutorial. Okay, So at this point, we will try to see what will be the effect of adding a strong acid which is your HCl here on the overall pH of the buffer solution. Alright, so of course we have to start with the number of moles of the species involved in the solution. So we have to get the number of moles first of the H plus or the ones produced by the acid when in solution. Alright, so we now have here, we have calculated, sorry, we have an error. Alright, sorry for that, we just replaced some values on the equation. So we're now trying to solve the moles of the HCl when added on the buffer solution. So that's 2.00 molar HCl multiplied by its volume, that's 20.00 milliliters, or that's equal to 0 0.02 liters with the no correct number of significant figures. Actually, we add one more or extra significant figure so that when we do on our rounding off on our final answer, the error will be less. Okay, so we have to this point in the middle of the calculation we have to have more or additional significant figures so we do the calculation that is equal to 0 0.04 thousand or 0 0.04000 moles of HCl so that is the moles of your HCl that will react with a buffer solution now on our previous um, video tutorials we have calculated already the number of moles of the pyridine and the conjugate acid so let's show that again all right so there you have it again the moles of your pyridine is 0.126 moles and the moles of your conjugate acid of your pyridine is 0.187 moles so we will be needing this number of moles of your species and see what will happen when they are mixed together okay so of course when you add the hcl on the buffer solution it will react so it will undergo an equilibrium reaction so we will see that equilibrium equation now okay so this is the equilibrium equation for this uh, solution that's the pyridine reacting with HCl because the pyridine is generally basic so it reacts with the acidic HCl that you've added to produce your ions here on the reactants uh, uh, sorry on the product side so again we'll be starting with the BCA chart the before change and after chart to guide us what will happen to the number of moles. Remember for the BCA chart we always use the number of moles. So we have your 0.126 for the pyridine and 0 0.04 for your HCl then 0.187 for your conjugate acid. Of course HCl we don't have any values here because Cl is Cl minus for the chloride ion is considered to be a spectator ion so it will not be considered at this point. Alright? So we're actually trying to look at the effect of the acidity of HCl added in the buffer solution. So we, the change will be minus the 0 0.04, minus 0 0.04 as well for the HCl. Of course, it will be consumed up. So you have zero here on the after value, and that's plus 0 0.04 for your conjugate acid. So we do the algeb algebra that's 0 0.086. Then 0 for again for HCl as I mentioned earlier and 0 0.227. So at this point, we now try to calculate the number, the final molarity or the final concentration of the species after adding the HCl. So we have, of course, you have to take note of your final volume and that is equal to 1.02 liters. Why is that? Because remember, we started with a buffer solution of 1.00 liters, then we added the HCl with a value volume of 0 0.02 or that's 20 ml or that's 0 0.02 liters so that the total final volume is now 1.02 liters 
So we simply calculate the molarity of the species using this total final volume. Let's do that. All right. So we now have here the molarity of the pyridine and the conjugate acid after adding the HCl. Now remember, the HCl was consumed, so that's why we have zero here in the after part. So you only have the molarity of the pyridine and the conjugate acid. So the number of moles after the HCl addition, then the total final volume divided by the total final volume, and you have here 0 0.0843 molars for your pyridine. Then 0.227 divided by 1.02 liters, you have 0.2225 molar for your conjugate acid. So we now have the final concentration of your species in your buffer solution after adding the HCl. So what we need to do now is to know the henderson hasselbalch equation. So we already have mentioned it in the previous video tutorial, so let's write it down. Okay, so the henderson hasselbalch equation is shown here. That is pH is equal to the pKa plus the log of the quotient or the concentration of the base divided by the concentration of its conjugate acid or whether it's the strong base or the conjugate acid or conjugate base of a strong acid uh, sorry a weak acid okay remember a buffer solution is either a weak base or it's conjugate acid a weak acid is conjugate base all right sorry for that now so we now simply plug in the values you already have the concentrations of our base and our acid but the problem is we have the pKa now in this problem we're only given the kb if you remember the kb is equal to 1.40 times 10 to negative 9 okay so that was the basicity constant given for this buffer solution or specifically for the pyridine in this solution so how can we transform kb into the ka which will then be transformed into the pka so we have we need what we call as the equilibrium constant of water okay that is kw and that is very essential for buffer solution problems, right? So you need to have a little review on that as well. So for the ease of the calculation, let's show the value for the Kw. Okay, so we have your Kw is actually equal to Ka plus Kb. And the value of that is 1.0 times 10 to negative 14. Now you must be wondering where is Kw coming from? Now this is actually uh, based on the constants given or derived from the equilibrium of water itself okay the dissociation of water water acting as an acid as well as the base so we have there 1.0 times 10 to negative 14 as a kw so if you want to read more on that you are, are very welcome to do so all right so let's we will de then simply rearrange the equation kw is equal to ka plus kb to solve for our ka and that is equal to all right so when we we rearrange this equation kw is equal to ka plus kb so we look for Ka that will be equal to Kw divided by Kb. So as given, Kw is 1.0 times 10 to negative 14. So we divide it by the Kb given, which is 1.40 times 10 to negative 9. And that is equal to 11.14 times 10 to the negative 6. Alright, so this is the Ka based on this calculation. So all we need to do now is simply plug in the values on the henderson hasselbalch equation. But remember, take note that we're looking for the pKa. So to look for pKa, that is simply the negative logarithm of the Ka. All right, so let's do that. All right, so I now have written here the simplified version of the henderson hasselbalch equation earlier from this one here. So pH is equal to negative logarithm of Ka plus the logarithm of the quotient of the concentrations of the base and the acid. So we already have all the values. All we need to do is plug in now in this equation. So that's pH is equal to negative logarithm 7.14 <coughs> excuse me times 10 to negative 6 plus the logarithm of the quotient <coughs> excuse me of 0 0.0843 that's the molarity of the base as we have calculated earlier then divided by the molarity or the concentration of the acid which is 0 0.225 so all we need to do now is do the calculation and we arrive to the following answer Alright, so the negative logarithm of the Ka is equal to 5.146 and logarithm of the quotient of 0 0.0843 divided by 0 0.225 is negative 0 0.4215 so instead of the plus here, it becomes a minus here so that's 5.146 minus 0 0.4215 so the pH of the buffer solution after adding the HCl or the strong acid is 4.725 
Now what is the general effect of adding the strong acid? Is that if you remember the pH of the solution of the remember rather the buffer solution we have calculated before in the previous video tutorial is equal to 4.975 and the pH of the solution now after adding the HCl is 4.725 so generally adding a strong acid or generally an acid on the buffer solution lowers the pH okay so that's a general trend after adding a acid or a strong acid in your buffer solution so that's it for this video tutorial I hope you have learned thank you for listening and continue learning